Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week of June 10th, 2024. Now, I'm sitting here doing this on a Tuesday night, so it's the week of, it's a little before, it's a little after. With angels, time is not linear. So, you know, whenever you see this, this is your message. I don't know how to articulate the things that are coming through, but I'm going to try. You are doing such massive soul growth. And it might, I mean, you've been doing this, most likely if you were drawn to this video, right? Something's going down, right? Most people go to these videos for comfort, for inspiration, understanding. And it's because there are things that do not have words put to them that might be occurring on a very deep level. Part of that for some of you would be realizing how dark energy works through others. We talk about that all the time and how that can rob you of your joy. And I, and I mean that in the most genuine way. Like it's like, you know, if you constantly get uh, worked up over what someone thinks of you, and especially if that person is toxic and they're going on a smear campaign because you set a boundary, you know, we've talked about that before then that could start dragging your energy field down. Now, when that occurs, now you're missing out on the opportunities. Now you feel like maybe you're in a rut or you just keep hitting up on the same cycles over and over and over again. Some of you as well will be letting go of anger, okay, being aware of and letting go of anger, uh, maybe towards family members, this, I mean, this is the kind of thing, and there's a lot of different examples that are popping up here. And I would understand if you were exhausted this week. Right? And it's not for anything bad necessarily. It's just sort of like, wow, I've allowed something to take so much of my time um, to drain me, to lower my frequency, and then make me susceptible to not being guarded and not being careful with what comes near me, okay? So energy interference can happen when we are in a low frequency. And this is where you hear, you know, certain religious traditions. There is a little, I don't know what that is, a little fly or something found its way in. <laughs> we got a little friend for our video here. It's going to be, it's like flying all over the place. But uh, no, so what we're saying is like there are some traditions that will talk about monitoring spirits. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, sure. We could have that discussion, but, um, this is more about allowing yourself to be vacant and something takes up residency, right? And now you're acting out of character or, you know, from a spiritual perspective, this is where people could really start, uh, being under the influence. And I mean, being not, not necessarily coerced. It could be just another sort of low frequency coming in and joining with you and it drags you, sinks you down like a stone or it could actually be something that is trying to keep the light out of the world is what I'm hearing right now, to keep the light out of the world. And what is going to end up happening is you're going to feel like your life is tumbling down. You're going to feel like, you know, again, this is not therapy. This is not therapy. This is just spiritual talk here. But you might start to feel like, is this it? Some of you already feel that way, you know, especially if you are a certain kind of soul, right? They have angel souls here, the angelic humans. Um, you know, if you come here and you just don't understand why people would be cruel, like it's just, it's not intellectually trying to tell yourself, I don't understand just so you seem like a good person. It's your whole being going, this is messed up. I feel like I'm in a really awful video game and I can't seem to get out of it, right? Like, or it, it just doesn't get better or it just, you know, you don't understand why people uh, won't heal or why people um, do, let's just say, do some of the things that they do. You may also not understand why people get worked up or excited about certain things. I watch people get excited about fashion. Now, I like creative things. I like pretty things. So I can get excited about that stuff for that reason. But people who get excited about things for labels, I don't get it. 
those are just human beings just like us. Why are you excited about it? I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So if you can relate to that, if you're feeling like something shifting on a very, very deep level and there are no human words for it, it's because you're in a human, oh, come on, fly friend. I'm trying to do something here. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> they like dive bombed me. Anyway, if you feel like you are in a certain space right now where you feel like something deep and profound is shifting, but you can't name it, that makes sense. Okay. It, it, it Human words are not going to touch it. It's not going to touch it. So how can we get through this? This is the question I've been asking. Uh, if you guys follow me on any of my socials, um, not just here, but anywhere, I did post a photo where I was at a Mother Mary shrine, and I was walking around and uh, just allowing myself to relax, number one. Now, that's a tough one for a lot of people who are watching this because we all have things going on in our lives, especially, I keep saying, if, you've, if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video, I'm not meaning that as like that little marketing thing that somebody, if you, you know, claim, claim this reading, well, you know, <laughs> That became like a TikTok thing. I don't know, but I'm not talking about that. I am saying genuinely, if you, for whatever reason, clicked on this video and you just thought you were going to listen to a little reading or whatever, and then we start talking about your life like this, there, there's, um, there's something here that you absolutely need to hear right now. And again, I'm not just saying that you need to hear this. So allowing yourself to relax, even if you're in adversity. Allowing yourself to take a break, allowing yourself to take a rest. And we keep using this word fortifying, right? To fortify yourself. Because there are people around you who are going to be falling apart. I told you, the day of the narcissistic person is done. And they're going to claw at all of us on the way down. Some of them are being... I don't want to say possessed. It's not that. But again, this idea of uh, an energy kind of entering into a person that has left a vacancy through a low vibration, that you're going to become that type of warrior instead of being filled with light and being on the other side of things. Okay. And what's more, you're going to see yourself just, again, it just feels like your whole life is falling apart. I've been there, guys. I've been there past couple of years. <laughs> it's, it's like been like what one hard lesson after another. And I understood like, Hey, I, I realized why this is happening. I know that when I come out the other side, I'm going to be so much better off than I was before, but I had to learn how to, and I'm still learning it. Okay. I'm not sitting here acting like I'm perfect. No, we're all in this together, okay, <laughs> for sure. But I had to learn to give my heart a break, to enjoy the process. Now, that is not an easy thing to do. Uh, I was just sharing with a client recently. I said, you know, you do the I love you practice where even if someone's standing in front of you and you know they've done something, they've backstabbed you or whatever, in your head, you don't have to say it out loud, but in your head, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Now, a lot of people will laugh at that, but there you go. There's just an example of the type of human that's walking around in this world. They don't get it. They have no connection or understanding of why that's powerful. And that's their path to walk. That's their thing to do. It doesn't always have to mean something about us. Okay. So if you have somebody in front of you or someone who a lot of you are sensitive to, so you know, when someone's talking about you, <laughs> like it's almost as if they're talking to you right to your face. If you start to feel your energy shift, you start to feel your heart being pulled towards sorrow, sadness. You feel yourself being yanked down. You say to yourself, I love you. 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 You can say it in your head. That's fine. And if you can picture that person, if you're in your ego and you're going, I don't, I don't know. Okay, listen, when I say you're in your ego, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Okay, but it can, you might be making things more difficult on yourself than you need to, if that makes sense. 
But uh, if you're in that space where you're like, I cannot forgive, I will not let go, I will not, you heal in your own time, there's no rush. However, do not step on the practice that is profound and, and will work for people, especially sensitive souls. And yes, those are just words we're putting on it, but you are here to lift up the vibration of this planet. There are going to be a lot of people who roll their eyes at that. They're the ones you're here to help. Okay. Now that does not mean that they get to take advantage of you. It does not mean that you have to bend over backwards for these people. But the biggest message right now is you deserve to be happy even as you help others. You deserve to be at peace even as you're going through your hard lessons. So when you come across difficult people, people were really in pain and they would roll their eyes at something like this. Or they get really irritated with you. I just had that discussion with a client. You know, they got really irritated with you because they feel like they are in distortion when they're around you or they get irritated because they know you can see right through them. They don't like to be exposed. Okay. So if you're in this place, learn to enjoy where you are. Remind yourself that even if this is happening right in front of me, or I can sense that someone's been talking about me, I'm not talking about paranoia. I'm not talking about <laughs> you're just extra defensive. And I'm not, I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about the real sensitive people, the real ones. You, you sense an energy shift when someone is even thinking badly about you. I love 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 you. Maybe that's enough. You can try this with plants too. That's actually one of the ways that this practice has been proven. <laughs> it's so wild. I know it sounds weird. You might be like, this, this video like went off the rails a long time ago. Not if you're in the know. It didn't if you're in the know. But when you, you can experiment if you have a plant and you say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, it will grow much bigger, stronger. Uh, I had an apple blossom plant years and years and years ago, and I did this experiment with it, and it grew to like, I think it was about three times the size it was supposed to, and it was supposed to have two blooms, and it bloomed, it had three blooms, gigantic blooms that were like the size of my head, <laughs> okay, and that is not normal as far as I understand for that type of plant. So it's an interesting thing, try it out. And if you understand that then, then you know how powerful it can be to direct that love to yourself, but also to others, reminding yourself, this is my purpose or a layer of my purpose, okay? Your actual purpose is individual and unique to you and it has many branches to it. So if you can be at peace with that this week, then you know you're not alone. We're all together. There's going to be maybe a little bit of separation in your life, but that's okay. That's okay. If someone who, I, I, again, this word entrapment, it always comes up. And I think it's having to do with, again, wanting approval from somebody, wanting, you know, maybe it's someone you have to be in touch with all the time. And so you want to keep peace, but that person's not pulling their weight to make peace. As a matter of fact, they're always destroying any peace that you build up. You know, stepping over boundaries, going on smear campaigns, this sort of thing. Send that love. You've heard this before. Send love. Know that this is part of your path to understand this side of being human. You don't have to agree with it. <laughs> you don't have to... Uh, actually be a part of it because most of you are very different souls. Um, I don't know. I keep, every time I'm trying to like move forward in the message, I get hung up on, for a lot of you, people who are wanting to pull you back and pull you back down. Or the most popular thing is talking about people that talk like this, like we're insane. I guess we'll see, huh? Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. It's okay to say, hey, you know what? The weather's beautiful. I'm going to go out and enjoy it. 
I was going to film on Sunday and even last night. I was tired. I was tired. And I said, I literally said to myself, I'm like, what? In my head, not like out loud. Uh, who said I had to have it up by Sunday? Whoever, whoever said that, was that other YouTubers that said that? And then we all just ex were expected to follow along. <laughs> like, what is that? As long as I produce within the week, I feel good about that. So there we go. All right, let's get some cards here. Let's see what's happening. Ten of Gabriel. See, lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. The card says, because you won't be able to read it. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. And that's the thing. Trying too hard to please others. Trying too hard to fit in as a human when, I've said this before many, many, many years ago in a video, you're not meant to, and it was funny because I said it and then all of a sudden it became like a popular saying. <laughs> I'm not saying that I started that, but maybe I started it. I don't know. It was just a little weird. But we all pick up on similar energies at the same time. So it could just be that we all kind of got the same download as well but this is the kind of way that you have been living <sighs> under the burden of someone's judgment you as a sensitive soul you as a lighted soul however we want to say that an angelic soul i'm not saying that not going down that path of the incarnated angels because that was really trite and really contrived and it was in my opinion to sell books we're not going down that path when we're talking about the angelic soul could it be that your soul is from somewhere else? There's the idea of um, the wandering soul. David Wilcock just did a, a whole thing talking about that. Um, I, I think he's going live every Sunday uh, if you tune into his channel. But um, yeah, I, I love I love when he talks about uh, the wanderers. I think that's very valuable. And I think it's hitting on what we're talking about here, you know, the sensitive souls, the angelic souls, lighted souls, again, however you want to label that, this is what we're all feeling right now. Like it's gotten to be too much. And this is the kind of thing where it's so funny. Again, I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but it's almost like a Cinderella type thing. There's a woman here, she's in rags and Looks like she's supposed to be cleaning this like dungeon kind of place. <laughs> so if you, you know, a lot of people who have that sort of higher, not, not necessarily better, just different, but like a higher frequency soul, you will do all of the grunt work. You will go in and do the things that other people think that they're too good to do. And then when you say, hey, I think I'm done with this now. The people who depend on you doing the things that they don't want to do, now they're going to be like, oh my gosh, you're so entitled. Oh my gosh, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are to like be on my level? You know, they'll start to do everything they can to shake you, break you, drag you down. Gabriel, this is 10 of Gabriel, shows up and says, no more. We're not doing this anymore. Oh, you guys. Listen, I've been doing this a long time. I got this microphone here now and now I got to do this This whole thing anyway so we have this is shocking me now so 10 of michael with the 10 of gabriel the 10 of michael says a situation has ended and you are finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow put the past behind you i want to hold both of these up at the same time because that is too weird <laughs> that's too weird so definitely something is coming to an end but it's an internal thing you're going to realize like all these things that you have been striving for don't really matter and again at the end of the day was probably because you were afraid of being human you were afraid of being connected into this physical body maybe it does feel foreign to you maybe uh you don't understand the world around you and that can be very scary especially if you're walking through life and you feel like you're not understood or i don't know again going back to examples of us going why are people so cruel to one another and someone laughing at you. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, so someone laughing at you and saying, that's just how the world is. You need to toughen up. No, you don't. I mean, spiritually, yes, but you don't have to just give in to whatever somebody says. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to go along with that. So here we have the three of Raphael, which is nice. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. 
oh, it's like you finally figure out what you want to let go of. And here we go. So if you just had to end a friendship, if you had to go no contact with anybody, if you're around people who are always trying to drag you down, they're jealous of you or they're trying to take from you. They don't want you to go any further than, than they have, you know, any of that kind of stuff. You'll find that you are finding fellow, like as David puts it, fellow wanderers. You, you will come together in a community. Okay. I like this. Yes. And we're walking away, guys. Eight of Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest. Again, there's that clue, like stop looking for it outside of you. That's not going to work. You need to be at peace within you. I'm going to give you a quick rundown because again, I'm experiencing everything right alongside of all of you. I had a very rough week last week. Like darkness was challenging, <laughs> right? Very challenging. And it was hard to speak my my truth and to get it out there, to use my voice and set a boundary. I was waiting for backlash for setting a boundary. And then I got to a place of why am I taking this so seriously? What is the value in it to teach me not to take it so seriously? So when I left uh, this thing that I was doing on Friday, I got out of that situation and I went for a hike. And it was, you could not have asked for better weather, okay? At least in my opinion. <laughs> Partly cloudy, a little breeze. I think it was like 70 degrees out. That's perfect to me. And as I was walking around, I just kept sighing like, oh. And every time I did, my back hurt a little bit. And then my chest kind of felt like it was cracking open. I don't know how to explain it. And I just realized how much stress and burden... I was carrying like it's my job <laughs> now I don't know to some extent some people would say well if you're going to be that lighted soul on this planet yeah you're going to feel that but I start off with that then I went off and went to the lake with my family and then I went to a crystal shop the, the next day that's when I went to the shrine and I walked around again I just spent a lot of time in nature and I'll tell you what I actually had a beautiful experience with uh, Padre Pio and feeling that energy coming through. And I actually got emotional. I actually, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if it was something I needed to release, um, but I just felt so much love, so much love. And of course, Mother Mary presence, you know, all of that. Um, and it was nice. It was nice to feel like I was remembering you know, remembering something like the kind of love that I wish was on the planet, but we haven't brought it through yet. It's too intense for some people. So, um, yeah, that, I think that's why there's so many of us trying to draw that divine love in because the human body can carry only so much, right? So if you look at it from that standpoint, we all need to work together <laughs> right, to keep bringing that through and let the inspiration come back. Okay, so we have intimacy. Uh, so that is understanding the self and universal Christ. Do this connection. This right here, make this a priority this week. If someone is trying to pull you off course, if someone's really trying to upset you, that's the devil's work, honey. <laughs> that's the devil's work. And you don't have to play around with that. Okay. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye.